Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to this uh, new video. So in our previous videos, we have uh, started with uh, one more concept called as uh, Thevenin's theorem. We have discussed the statement along with the proof and some of the steps involved in Thevenin's theorem. That is, uh, we should be finding the Thevenin voltage along with the equivalent impedance in order to write the equivalent uh, Thevenin's network. So the, again, those who have not watched that video, so please watch that video. And also one more theorem related to superposition also we have discussed in this uh, module also. So those who have not seen those videos, watch those videos, then come and watch these videos. Like this video and then watch the complete video till the end. So without wasting much time, let's solve the problems. This is the first problem that is obtain the Thevenin's equivalent network of the circuit shown below between the terminals X and Y. Okay, X and Y. Also find V0. Okay, this also find V0. Let us, uh, if, uh, what to say, neglect it for now. Okay, don't consider this V0 now. It is there as a, in the problem it is there. But let us uh, neglect it for now. Con consider the question till here. Okay, so here, in order to solve for Thevenin's equivalent network, we need Thevenin voltage VTH along with the equivalent impedance ZEQ. Right. So now, they have given... Thevenin's equivalent network of the circuit shown between X and Y. That is, they, if they given if they give the terminals between the terminal, whatever the resistance is there, that would be our load impedance or load resistance. Okay. So now, like this, we should be doing. So now, first step is calculation of VTH. Right. So in order to calculate VTH, our first step is we should be removing this complete branch of load impedance. That is, again rewrite the circuit. So here I have rewritten the circuit here, okay. And we have in place of that VTH I have written it as uh, in place of that load impedance I have written removed it and written it as VTH. This VTH is equal to V of x y, okay. Like this also you can name it. It's not necessary, but if you want you can write this, okay. Now what to do is our first thing you should be writing the VTH equation, right? That is VTH equal to you should be tracing back from y to x okay not from x to y from y to x whatever would be coming in in the middle whatever components would be coming in the middle all of them would be you should be uh, uh, adding them up or you should be checking for the uh, polarity that is the outward sign right but here in this case it would be plus because we have minus 3 kilo ohm that is 3k into i1 since this resistance having uh, this loop here Along with that, this 4 kilo ohm minus 4 kilo ohm into this loop here I2. Okay. That is, uh, that is equal to this equation. But it is not here because we have I1 in this direction, downward direction. And here we are checking from upward direction. These two have different uh, directions. Also the sign is minus. So minus into minus is plus here. Similarly here, this is the loop direction here. And we are checking till from here direction. So here we have minus. So this would be plus. Okay. And also the value of I2 is equal to, we are checking from this direction only, right? So that's why directions are the same. So that would be equal to 4 milliamps, right? So directly write I2 is equal to 4 milliamps since this loop is having this current 4 milliamp here. So now substitute that VTH is equal to 3K I1. This K stands for kilo ohm that is 10 to the power 3 if, you, if someone don't know plus 4K into 4 milli that is m kilo and milli are inverse of each other 1 is 10 power 3 and 10 power minus 3 so those two would be getting cancelled so our vth is equal to 3k i1 plus 4 4 is 16 that is vth is equal to kilo stands for 1000 so this would be 3 into 1000 is 3000 i1 plus 16 so this is the VTH equation we have got that is name it as equation 1 so in order to find this VTH we should be knowing the value of this current right I1 okay so in order to get the value of this current I1 we should be solving this loop here that is I1 loop if we solve this loop for I1 we would be getting our current I1 okay so that is now we should be applying KVL for this I1 however our goal is to find the VTH and in order to find the VTH, this current is obstructing us. So that current we should be finding first, right? For that, apply KVL for this loop, that is loop I1. 
so start from this 12 volt only so outward sign is plus 12 then we have minus 6 into 6 kilo ohm right 6k into i1 minus i2 right then we have minus 3k i1 since this 3 kilo ohm is having only this current here because this is an open loop right so we don't have any current source so that is equal to 0 so now substitute before that let's solve 12 minus 6k i1 minus minus plus 6k i2 minus 3k i1 equal to 0 12 minus minus 6 minus 3 is minus 9k i1 plus 6k and i2 value is 4, 4 milliamps so write it as 4m okay that is equal to uh, 0 so this would be kilo milli gets cancelled 12 you bring it to other side so this is 9k minus 9k i1 6 4s are 24 bring 12 to other side would be minus 12 so minus 9k i1 is equal to minus 12 and 24 bring it to other side that is minus 24 so minus 9k i1 is equal to minus 36 minus minus goes i1 is equal to 36 divided by 9k that is 9 ones are 9 fours are 4 by k that is 4 divided by 10 to the power 3 bring this 10 to the power 3 up that would be 10 to the power minus 3 so i1 would be equal to 4 milliamps okay like this we got the current i1 now substitute this current i1 in this vth equation in order to get the vth voltage right so that is vth is equal to 3000 i1 plus 16 or we can write vth is equal to 3k into i1 value we have got it as 4 milliamps right plus 16 kilo milli goes vth is equal to 3 4s are 12 plus 16 that is 28 volt okay so like this we got the thevenin voltage as 28 volt so one job is done now the second step is equivalent impedance that is z equivalent right calculation of z equivalent so now in this circuit calculation of z equivalent is simple remove the current source as well as voltage source by a short circuiting the current voltage source and open circuiting the current source that is this branch would be completely eliminated and this branch would be shorted and rest all the components you write it as it is that is so this 12 volt voltage source would be shorted we have here one 6 kilo ohm resistor one 3 kilo ohm and one 4 kilo ohm this is x and this is y and this whole current source branch is open circuit so that's why that would be gone you are left with 6 kilo ohm 3 kilo ohm 4 kilo ohm so now for this you should be finding the equivalent impedance we know that z equivalent is equal to these two are in parallel right so we can convert them into a series that is after converting them into series our equivalent circuit would be looking like like this so this is 4 kilo ohm so this is uh, parallel so do 6k into 3k divided by 6k plus 3k that is we have 18k square divided by 9k right 6k plus 3k 9k k cos we are left with 18k by 9 9 1s are 9 2s are that is equal to 2 kilo ohm so here we have 2 kilo ohm and 4 kilo ohm in series so 2 plus 4 is 6 kilo ohm like this we should be finding the value of z equivalent that is equal to 6 kilo ohm so that therefore finally the thevenin circuit i told you that how to write the thevenin circuit vth voltage that is vth is equal to 28 volt along with the series equivalent impedance that is this that is this value 6 kilo ohm along with that since they have asked us to find the value of V0 now consider into picture this V0 they have asked us to find V0 that is voltage across 3 kilo ohm they have mentioned us to find voltage across this 3 kilo ohm V0 since they have mentioned this V0 specifically in this branch so that's why you should be finding voltage across 3 kilo ohm okay so for that case we should be knowing what is the current since V is equal to I into R so here we have the thevenin circuit so i've told you if you want to calculate the current using the thevenin circuit you should be including the impedance which you have removed 
that is 3 kilo ohm okay then make it as a closed loop 3 kilo ohm now find the current i is equal to v by r so vth is 28 divided by these two are in series so 6k plus 3k that is 28 by 9k so that is if you solve it you would be getting 3.11 milliamps since this kilo if it goes up it would be milliamps so this is the value of current we got here now v naught that is a voltage across 3 kilo ohm resistor that is equal to 3.11 milliamps into 3 kilo ohms so milli kilo goes so v naught is equal to 3.11 into 3 that is 9.33 volt okay so like this you should be solving this problem hope this is clear seven inch theorem one problem obtaining seven inch circuit so we'll see one more problem and uh, wind this session so this is the second question very easy question okay similar to that the first question some of the changes here in this question is here they have in the previous problem they have asked us to find voltage across the load impedance right so here we should be finding the current through the load impedance okay that is one change here using Thevenin's theorem also again you should be writing the Thevenin's equivalent circuit then we should be finding the current through RL okay now here one change is here we have current source and C parallel resistance here you can see convert this into voltage source in series resistance using source transformation and then solve the rest of the problem okay first I'll write that circuit first see I have reduced the circuit here I have removed this load resistance since they mentioned this as RL so when, when, wherever, wherever there is load resistance they would be mentioning it as RL specifically okay that I have removed here and replaced it by the Thevenin's uh, voltage you should be tracing from down to up I have told you and then writing the VTH equation before that we have one voltage source here since we have one current source I have replaced it by voltage source in series so V is equal to I into R 10 into 2 that is 20 volt okay that's one change I have made so now let's solve the rest of the problem so this one change we have made let's write the VTH equation now trace from down that is name this as I1 loop so this is minus so this is our opposite so this would be positive 2 I1 then we have plus 20 okay outward sign is plus 20 then we have This is the VTH equation, name it as equation 1. Okay, why I have uh, not considered this 1 ohm because this branch only we should be considering because this is VTH we are tracing for here, we should not be considering this 1 ohm, we are tracing from here this point to this point. Okay, so that's why this is the VTH equation. Now, apply our goal is to find this current I1, apply KVL on this loop I1. That is equal to plus 10 minus 2 into I1, then we have minus 20, then we have minus 2 I1 is equal to 0. So minus 2 minus 2 is minus 4 I1 is equal to 10 minus 20 is minus 10 equal to 0, minus 4 I1 is equal to minus 10, bring it to the side, it will be plus 10. I1 is equal to minus 10 by 4, that is equal to minus 2.5 ampere okay so like this we've got this value of current substitute this back in this equation that is vth is equal to 2 into minus 2.5 plus 20 that is equal to 2.5 into 2 is minus 5 plus 20 20 minus 5 is 15 volt so our vth voltage we got it as 15 volt now next job is to find the equivalent impedance for that you should be removing this voltage source and this current source here this complete branch would be removed this is open circuit and this is short circuit and this R load also would be removed we would be left with 2 ohm 2 ohm 1 ohm 2 ohm 2 ohm 1 ohm again we have like this here these two are in parallel here and along with that whatever answer we get that would be in series so let's say first do this parallel here that is z equivalent is equal to two into two divided by two plus two that is equal to four by four one right one is the answer so here we have one ohm 
and 1 ohm 1 plus 1 is 2 ohm right like this we found the equivalent impedance now final is seven in circuit we should be writing that is VTH voltage and the equivalent impedance VTH voltage we got it as 15 volt equivalent impedance is 2 ohm since they have asked us to find the current through load resistance RL so you should be considering the load resistance which you have removed that is 13 ohm right so now I is equal to I of 13 ohm is equal to V that is 15 divided by these two are in series so 13 plus 2 that is equal to 15 by 15 so I of 13 ohm current, current through the load resistance 13 ohm is equal to 1 ampere okay so hope this problem is clear very simple problem hope this is understood to you all so that's all for this session guys we have solved two of the important problems related to Thevenin's theorem hope this is clear like this video share this playlist to a huge number and subscribe to our channel uh, that's all guys we'll see you in the next video thank you